Hey. That was our commercial break. Here we are. We're back. I'm here with Billy and uh, Patrick from Sweetwater. We were talking about that. Uh, okay, so I'm finished with the cruise. Stick with ice swimming. We're going to be bringing up some of the product things. We're going to be talking about uh, some of the music we have. And also, I wanted to uh, discover a game. We have a game that I uh, came up with. We were in the uh, master atrium of the ship. Okay. And uh, there were three families, five kids. Four of the kids got on those see-through glass elevators. Now, you got to visualize this, folks. you got glass elevators all going up, four of them. The kids started playing on them. So they're all on different floors. we got to go to dinner. we got to get all the kids. So we're hitting all the buttons. We go over there where they, they meet on the, that floor. Yep. We're hitting all the buttons and we, for all the uh, elevators come out. Started, started having to be kids. fun. Started to be fun. Like yeah, it was like uh, yeah. it was like make them go up, make them go down. No, it was, it was like trying. It was like a, a child uh, slot machine. Yeah, you know, they got <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then a kid, ding, 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 and it starts coming down, and one of the kids goes running. He goes, Finn's upstairs. I'm going to go get it. And he jumps into the other elevator, and just like that, we're Ooh, back to back two to kids. kids. And what an exciting game. You could do that all night. <laughs> we ended up, like, we pulled that kid out when he ran into the elevator. We pulled him out. He goes, what are you doing? No, this no. is how we started it. So we just waited for the one kid in the one elevator. So that was the thing. And when we are on board, we didn't... Uh, we went to uh, the islands. I have to say, I liked uh, St. Martin and St. Kitts the best because they had the mountains and the beaches, the beaches and they were gorgeous. gorgeous. Did you get out and look around? You get no, no, we went around? to the beach. You know why? Yeah, because the there's beach. no beaches down here. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, we drove, when we drove to the beaches, we looked around, but yeah. we had a limited amount of time. There's so mud we spent flat. What? There's we, mud flats. We got mud flats. I mean, that's what we call I don't it. want to go to mud flats. Well, that's Sorry. what they call a beach down here. Yeah. yeah. I know. Well, no, I rock. wanted sand and, <laughs> and hills and those shacks beach. that served a beer. I'll tell you, there was a couple of shacks that I wouldn't eat at when I saw. I, I'm looking at it and seeing the guy washing his hands in a five gallon bucket. And I'm thinking, well, I'm going to rethink that jerk chicken. Uh, I think it's going to jerk me back to the bathroom a couple times during the night dude, if you, I did that. You eat street vendor food, you are golden. Rattle on a stick, you are good. You go to a restaurant one time and eat. No, no I'm not going to. Uh, no, no, but I don't eat street vendor food. You, you don't. Should. No, you should. That's, that's why I'm not. I've been out. The culture I've been, all that. I've been out. Well, you're on a cruise. You're not going to adapt. Oh, that's right. That's you're not going to adapt. Time. That's what no, you don't have time to adapt. You're going you're gonna to end up getting uh, uh, whatever foodborne illness you're going to get. And uh, eight days. <laughs> if I was going a month, maybe I'd risk it. You know? But if I'm in, uh, I had a store of uh, Pepto and there you go. Zantac, and I was set. And uh, like I said, 15 drinks seems to be the maximum. When you're drinking uh, uh, Gimlet's or, uh, you know just regular drinks. I mean, obviously, if you're drinking light beer, Hell, you could probably drink all 15 beers, I'm just getting started. Beer, yeah, yeah. yeah, 15 beers. But if you drink, if I get those 15 drinks, it's pretty much a mess. And, uh, and the one thing, when I got to Grand Turk, and, uh, I, hey, I'm going to probably screw myself with Margaritaville, but got off the ship, and there it is, Margaritaville. You go in? I'm from, no. <laughs> well, I'm from the Keys. There's Margarita. It's all Jimmy Buffett here. <laughs> It's all Jimmy Buffett. It's like if you went to, if I went in, um, I'm from Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. If I went, if I left Philadelphia and every place I went, went I'd ask for, do you make a Philly cheesesteak? Yeah. Well, I would ask for a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. I mean, Italy, do you make a Philly cheesesteak? No, I want Italian But if you, if you went to New Orleans, you'd get gumbo, right? Yeah, but I didn't want to go to Grand Turk and have Margaritaville. This is <laughs> no cheese Key West. Dude, you could have had a true cheeseburger in paradise. Nah, no, we have that. The <laughs> cheeseburger in paradise is here. You don't grant, go to Grand Turk in the BWI, the British Virgin Islands. Ver, well, BWI, British BBI's. West, West B. Is it British Virgin Islands? British West uh, Virgin Islands. B, you can call w it BWBI. BBI is what we used to call it. Oh, the, the HPV. I used to run over there. Didn't you used to run over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. built an old Navy guy. So. 
He almost ran over them a couple of times. Probably. Yeah. No, I, I fished a couple of destroyers <laughs> that uh, Ensigns have put on a sandbar down there. Though. And and what? Hmm? And and Ensigns have put on sandbars and busted up the ray domes. That's what I did. I fixed I fixed, fixed that stuff. And in well, Grand Turk. Well, not Grand Turk. Most of the time, they did it on the big ones right outside of uh, Norfolk. Well, the things <laughs> the things that we had here, we yeah. ended up. Uh, I'm going to look and see if we can get our product specialist over here so we can talk about some of the things we have. And we can share some of the drinks with the people that we what have. What kind of products do we have? Just tequila? But no, we got uh, tequila. We got Skinny Girl Vodka. I think they might have. Um, you want to check with them to see what we got? See if we can get some uh, drinks out. You know, I'm a bourbon guy. I normally don't use uh, do the tequila, but I do like the tequila. And this has got a nice mix of the, of the hot pepper in it. It's not just all. You know, it's good to experiment. It's good to experiment, It's Patrick. good to experiment. You have to expand yourself a little bit, just like you, eating, uh, going into Margaritaville over there. You that's not experimenting. Yourself. Going there, that's like, a walk, that's like going to Paris, France, and walking to McDonald's and ordering a Big Mac. For me. That's what we know. Here he comes. Is that the booze guy? Oh, we're going to do it. Come on. Yeah. 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 Pepsi, we're all right. Hey, Pat, how you doing? Oh, we never even introduced ourselves. I'm Mike Feller. How you doing? Okay, Jim Miranda, Keys bartender. We got, well, right now I'm tasting the Tanteo uh, tequila. It's a jalapeno, and I'm having it with the, uh, I had it on the rocks with uh, fresh lime juice. So, can you tell me a little about this? What what gave your, uh, you're, you're the distributor, but, I mean, you're featuring it right now. Yeah. So, what's special about this tequila? Well, just as the same as flavored vodkas have taken off, um, infused and flavored tequilas are also getting very, very popular. And jalapeno and tequila is a natural, um, or they also make a chipotle, uh, but they infuse the naturally infused jalapeno oils into the tequila to give this marriage of this true great Mexican flavor. And the oils are the ones that carry that. That's what's in the seeds and all that stuff when you extract Absolutely. Them, that heat. And I tried the Chipotle too. That's really good. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, two different peppers, two different flavors. Mm -hmm. um, I heard there's a poblano on the way. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, they're really uh, expanding into this whole pepper thing because every pepper gives a different flavor profile. Well, we were talking about the classic uh, margaritas that people have but with the jalapeno and uh as a bartender i like the fresh lime juice and i i noticed and you mentioned this that you know you don't mention any additional that orange liqueur that's normally mentioned, yeah but we have the tequila you have the orange juice the agave uh nectar or sometimes some other sweetener for people that they can use if they want another natural sweetener yeah. because um they're looking for a real clean taste, and you have it with this vodka. If you want something spicy, you can even garnish it with a little jalapeno on it. Oh, that, yeah. With a little salt rim. And because you're not putting that many uh, in, uh, different ingredients and mixes in it, you got to be careful. You can't take, like, a five-ounce glass and fill it with four ounces of uh, tequila yeah. and expect to be doing well <laughs> afterwards. It's, it, we're, I mean, the traditional pour for that is a, a, a two ounces. Two ounces for yeah. a margarita. And I think it would work great in a martini glass with a salt rim, uh, with a little, uh, uh, I mean, you could go with the olive, but the jalapeno on it. And it just, it's a nice drink. It gives you a nice spice. You don't have it. Uh, I, I'm not a really big fan of the sweet stuff because it makes me feel good. I'm not a big fan of the um, margarita mixes. Um, I just feel that the high fructose kills the flavor of the tequila and adds an artificial flavor to the cocktail. Uh -huh. The best thing about this cocktail, it, it truly is organic. I mean, you, you have fresh lime juice, you have agave nectar, which is a derivative from the agave plant, which mm -hmm. is what tequila is made from, and you have the tequila, and you add a little bit of water. Yep. And that's basically the entire cocktail. Once you get your measurements down, um, you don't need any additional orange flavors. You don't need to add expensive Contro or Grand Marnier to it because the agave nectar brings this sweetness out that covers that sweetness. You don't need triple sec, um, and it's just real simple to make. Plus, the limes have been high lately, but outside of that, it's uh, well. Actually, I went, right up, I went right up here. There's a uh, a fruit stand, 
and I just grabbed uh, like three pounds of limes for two bucks. Oh, and they were big, uh, like small orange sized limes that were very. Try to do that in public. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, you know, uh, we we had this discussion about this. I, I just mentioned it. Yeah, I even squeezed those. Oh, there's a uh, juggling. Yeah, juggling. Whoa! For, this is a once again. This is an audio medium. So I think I'll, I will bring in my mind next time. And, uh, they're really good. But um, with uh, people are moving to these simple, more simple uh, mixes instead of going through more complex mixes where you add a different liquors and you're trying to you're almost diluting the essence of the original liquor. Yeah, and, no. you're, and you're screwing that up. So with this. I mean, even without that, I would say even just as a martini by itself, without any uh, mix in it, yeah, it'd be delicious yeah. in a martini glass. Uh, it would be great with, um, I would like I would go with the regular real juices, orange juice. Uh, not so, lemon's a little, I mean, you can, if you need to make a sour mix, make it with lemon and agave. Sure. Lemon and agave, there you got your traditional sour mix. That's Absolutely. what they used to be. Um, so... We, we're covering those. How about the skinny girl? Let's hear about that skinny girl um, thing. And Oh, you don't know much about that? No, that's not mine. That's oh, not your sorry, thing? it's not my brand. Oh, it's not your brand then. We won't <laughs> talk. I, I must have been misinformed about that. I apologize. It's not, but we're just doing Tanteo, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. well so we're going to talk about Tanteo. We're going to talk about Tanteo. Oh, what is that? <laughs> actually, I, I, I really... The way I get, we're in margarita mode right well, now. Well, actually, if you saw Billy, you wouldn't think about the name of that other product. Or me. <laughs> and we saw to you, my friend. Uh, well, I don't know. Do you have a fat boy tequila? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, you went away from the product. Well, if you mix it with bacon. Yep. Oh, hey. Oh, dude. I you know what? I bet that would be. Bacon. I bet you'd make a really good. Uh, do a bloody Maria. I bet. A, yeah, an well, infused, an infused uh, uh, bacon with the jalapeno in a. In a uh, oh, God. A bloody Maria. See, bloody Ritas are becoming very, very popular, and this infusion of jalapeno. Just makes that Bloody Mary a little bit more spicier and gives it a little bit more flavor. And Emerald would say it kicks it up another notch. Oh, no. totally kicks it up yeah, a notch. Yeah. yeah. Well, and and, uh, <clears throat> that, and you know what? I'm sure it's not my own saying, but the best liquor you have, you're bringing it down with that ordinary or even poor mixers. Yeah. And you got to be careful what you're using. Sometimes, especially when you're using fresh uh, uh, fruit. Well, see, my, my, my usual my usual uh, thought on mixers, yeah. just skip them. If mm. it's worth drinking, it's worth drinking. Yeah. Well, that's just it. If you keep it simple, you get the natural flavor of the of the whiskey or the tequila yeah, or that, whatever that, that tequila, whatever the spirit is. That tequila with a little bit of lime juice was, was fantastic. And, I, and, and, I, you I know, and, and the target crowd we're pitching here, it's not, obviously, there's people out there, they go out and they drink to excess. And that's not... In the in the business, that's not what we're all about. Right. We're looking to taste something that's good. If you if you feel, um, I always I, I was in catering, and at the end of the night, I always say, "Hey, welcome to the so and so. I hope you enjoyed your night. If you felt you had uh, too much to drink, please see a member of our staff, and we'll arrange a ride home for you." It's not it's not a, it's it's not a shame or dishonor to uh, realize that you had take and buy too much. But it, it, right now, we don't encourage people to over and buy. And we also encourage them to find another way home. Absolutely. Right there. The beauty in Uber. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm, I'm, sure Uber, Uber. I'm sure Uber has saved many a lot. Imagine this with the orange, uh, because then you would need the agave with a nice, maybe a blood red orange. Sure. I would do it. Oh, that would be fantastic. You can try it with the jalapeno and, um, we, we saw We saw these... Um, uh, uh, vodkas come out and these tequilas uh, now the infusions come uh, around uh, because of um, uh, I think originally you see, you see lemon and it was made with artificial chemicals they were they just they rendered yeah. they used whatever uh, chemical that would come in that, just like they would in a candy not a real uh, imitation it, it was an imitation flavor, flavor. now uh, almost Anyone's words or salt is coming out with a real flavor. Yeah. Something that comes out 
that you have uh, more specific than yeah, no, the actual extracts. The actual uh, extracts. Yeah, they're, they're using jalapeno oils, right, 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 uh, right, and right. I guess they're, they're using the seed from the uh, chipotle. And you, the next one coming out is poblano. Poblano. Ooh. And and w the way bartenders uh, work, and especially these mixologists, they just take something and they'll like just work on coming up with all the different mixes they can come up with, and um, all the different cocktails. And that's your babies. I mean, if you're not going to have a child, you're going to be, here's my progeny. The uh, uh, Mike's mistake, whatever. It was the night maybe Mike had too many cocktails and he met his current wife. <laughs> you know, that's whatever. It sounds isn't like that, a, isn't that how that Were you there that night? Elements no. of a true story. No, no, no but uh, they're, 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 everyone, everyone comes up with their own. Did happen to you? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm, well, we're, I would come in, I would take something basic and just go back to the basics. Because everyone, it was about 10 years ago when it reached its zenith of so many different liquors going into a drink. And now the premium mixologist, three. Yeah, three items. Three yeah. items in it. Right. And once you go beyond it, uh, you're, you're diluting the, uh, I, I, I don't even call it the, the validity of the original product. If it's layered, I probably won't drink it. Well, there's three pies, layered three. Yeah, I'm still... Well, you could probably do four, or you no. could do as many. The same thing has happened to beer, happened to bourbon, Ger that's why Germany imposed certain rules. Okay. Well, I'm going to thank you for coming in, and we're going to push this product on there. And uh, thank you for coming in. We're going to enjoy that, this. That, 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 no, no, no. I appreciate it greatly. Nice. Thank you guys yeah, thank for, you. for promoting Tanteo. And, and it will exist eternally on the uh, our website on, on, web, uh, on episode 11. Episode 11. No way. At Keys Bartender. No way. At Keys Bartender. Fantastic. Com, or on iHeartRadio. Radio. Or uh, Spotify. Spotify. Tune in. Uh, Pocket Cast. Stitcher. Whatever thing they go, break. whatever the next one. Yes, th whatever the next one. Whatever next. Will be uh, iTunes Radio is coming up. Uh, iTunes coming up. iTunes coming up um, next month. Oh, that's, and, right. uh, that's nice. Anything yeah, we have in the past cool. will go up because we index our shows. Oh, fantastic! And Tanteo will stay in there. So whatever you see here, we're only two months old, and but we do have over two thousand listeners from around the world. And if you do go international, I'm starting to get in, in Germany. Uh, I have a, uh, We have a. A young lady over here, Carolina, who's visiting us. She's from uh, Poland, and she's going to dental school in Slovenia. Wow! And I'm going to have her interpret my show one time in Polish. Yeah, you got oh, so very for my, cool for my uh, so we can reach the Polish the audience. Polish audience. Yes, and uh, maybe by then Google will have a you know they'll get an automated translate. You know, maybe in a year or so. And sure. do they you do never know. There could be, I if I could do. get, if I could get just one percent of the People's Republic oh, of China. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's that's ten, million. Ten, million. <laughs> ten million. Ten million. Oh, ten million. All the percent. translations into Oriental oh, languages point, are well, fairly point, point, point oh three percent of my target audience, restaurant, and uh, bar uh, people. Yes, is seventy five thousand. 0.03% of the target audience. Okay. All you need is one person and Thank you so much. Mandarin Thank you. and you'll be all set. I'm going to work. Thank you for having me. Yeah, well, you watch me with my mask on. And you know what? I'd like to thank, uh, we had just a short notice to bring out uh, the people that we had today. And uh, we'll be able to do um, another show. I think we're going to be bringing in the next show. We're going to be doing a wine tasting. Oh, that's Ooh. great. Right, wine tasting? Yeah, that's, that's great. Like that's back. Cool. I like it. Hey, uh, would you be interested in coming on for a moment, Kelly? And, uh, come on. Kelly? How are you? Can I bring Megan on? Yeah. Listen over. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Come, yeah. come on over. Come on. Here. We're right. going to talk about, we're going to talk about um, some of the things. Uh, now, listen, we're at the catch right now. Before my I, uh, my boss uh, comes in from the catch and says, why aren't I promoting the catch? Well, Monday through Friday, we have these wonderful happy hours, 3.30 to 6.30. We have uh, discounted drinks. We have uh, great food specials. Some of and, the best um, chicken wings you ever want to have. That's yeah. Billy. Billy's eating a couple wings in his life. Yeah, one or two. And one or two. One or two. <laughs> thousand or uh, tens of thousands of wings. 
uh, the great chicken wing uh, genocide of 2017 occurred uh, with Billy. But uh, <laughs> I wanted to, so we, uh, the catch yeah. restaurant and bar in Key Largo. And we're not, a, we're a non-competitor right now because I'm bringing on the uh, manager of uh, Bumby's, another place I work, in uh, Alvarado. And uh, hi. say hi. Yeah, hi. Oh, yeah. We uh, got Tan Tan. What are you going to promote? Yeah, tantan? no, I just I just tried this delicious uh, jalapeno tequila that you had, yeah. and wow, I mean that is pretty remarkable. I think I get, I'm going to get I, you. I'll get you some bigger glasses. I mean, I, I I just want a margarita right now. You how, want a margarita? I can get you one of them. You know, it's really delicious. <laughs> I can get you a margarita made with uh, Tan Tan with a little salt rim. Do you want it straight up? Oh no, I I, I can get one in a minute. I, all right. Okay, no. You know, because well, you know, at the Keys Bartender podcast, what's better than to get drunk, you know? And oh, well, well, we're, we're, we're not, we don't want to get drunk. I know. Drunk. Hey, listen. I do this with a wink and a nod. It's a Keys Bartender thing. But um, we're not. Okay, we, we celebrate a drinking culture, but we're celebrating a responsible drinking culture. Exactly. Exactly. Because you can see people that are all messed up, right? Right, Kelly? They can end up. They can. You can end up if you drink too much. You can end up sitting in some strange bar with some kind of neck thing around you, drinking whatever red drink and laughing your head off are with you, your wavy brown hair. Are you talking about yesterday? <laughs> I know. I'm teasing. I just did that. Yeah. Messing with Kelly. So we, well, I said uh, Megan is the. Uh, the manager of Bumby's in uh, Amarada, where I work, and don't hold it against uh, her, but she did <laughs> hire me. Um, and I'll, oh, tomorrow we got Thirsty Thursdays. Yeah, and, the radio show uh, with Skip Radine on. Uh, oh my nine, God! You want Skip in there? Yeah, yep. ninety six point nine. Skip we Radine. have a great. Time. He is a sharp customer <laughs> when it comes to certain things. The B, he's a sharp when it comes to fishing, baseball, basketball. Basketball, football, football, fishing lures. He, lo- he loves sports. Uh, absolutely. But don't ask about technology. And, I and swear to God, I show him so a computer fun. or a hair dryer. They're no, almost the same thing. It's almost the same thing. Yeah. That's but, almost the same thing. He, he but still guy, doesn't understand what a podcast. No, but is. he's a prodigy. It doesn't matter. I t- I'm trying to explain that the, it's the transmission of sound. Yes. Instead of over the radio waves. It's through the internet, which sometimes is over the radio waves if you consider a cell signal. See, that's where it gets confusing. <laughs> oh no! Don't 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 get back. And all radio, right. all, and all radio, sh- and all radio shows, <laughs> all radio shows are available pretty much on the internet now. I don't know yeah. why you wouldn't promote it. Oh, thank you oh for the God. service, Kelly. Look at Kelly. that. I Kelly, Kelly, was my, Kelly was my sidekick for the longest time. We had a good time, didn't we? Yeah. And what was your slogan yeah. for Kelly? Don't screw this up, Kelly. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? We got uh, My daughter's here. Like, Don't F it up, Kelly. And she'd say the same thing to me. It was so a minute. Kelly! So, yeah. But she would laugh at it. Well, and no, you it, say, was, it was funny. Jim, you are hilarious. Because I walk in, and on the bar, there's a note that says, Kelly, so-and-so left their hat here. Don't screw this up. How do you screw up someone coming to pick up their hat? Oh, and, it had, that up? and it had nothing to do with Kelly. And it was just so funny, but it made me so happy, the banter. You know, yeah. I'm you, like, made, you know what? you got to make work fun. I would, we would t- whenever my job was to make... Um, your day better, Kelly. I would try to make someone's day better. And if you can make... I, I like in that. A, in the hospitality industry, if you can make one person's day better, I accomplish something. Oh, absolutely. Change one person's outlook, you change the world. Because you never know where they're going to go. Exactly. Which, no, and you do that. I mean, it is such a thrill. I get the biggest kick out of Jim Bartending. He'll start saying this utter nonsense to guests, and it takes people a minute to be like, wait, is he serious? What is he talking about? Like, what What are you talking about? Uh, I, 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 why? Like, Remember really when you were reading, pretending to read the oh, bottle of wine? Oh, I did. I did. I was reading out the bottle of wine. <laughs> so Listen great. to this. It was and so good. Yeah. Bill, I mean. That was too. No, last podcast. I know. I built upon that. What I took from that, and I did that. We had, we had fake wine names. 
and oh 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 there was fake oh that episode was great we, we actually failed miserably oh, did oh, one, <laughs> one of the, oh my, my, my daughter's here but i want to see this right there yeah, one yeah, one of the wines name was anus oh uh, Anus, anus was a real one. Yeah, that was a real one. That was a real one. That can't possibly yeah. be it. Yeah, and it so, wasn't. So is that a good, it wasn't is that a good one to finish a, with? Or? <laughs> yeah, finish with, you're right. <laughs> it, 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 that, that one tasted a little crappy. <laughs> Yeah, a little hair in it. Earthy. Uh, oh, earthy. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> there was deep, rich soil. Yeah. Well soiled. Well, well soiled. Oh, my God. There was, uh, there was the uh, different uh, beers and all that stuff, but they were pretty... I, I just came up. I, you know what? No, no, it was the, worse. But the story on the back of the wine that you were reading was about was how the up. convicts' bodies. And, oh, you know, yes, so the grapes were okay. the grapes were nut- uh, the nutrients from the grape uh, uh, from the roots of the grape were fertilized from the bo- dead convicts from the French Revolution or something like that. I mean, or something like that. And you go, and it was just it gives it its rich bouquet of flavors that lend. Lend you the idea of Jean Valjean. Refrigerated baboon, yeah. fodder. <laughs> Wait, you gotta get it. You gotta. Oh, I'm not like that. You gotta, you gotta get it. Hey, right. can I try one of those? Yeah, what do we have now? Uh, what is this? Salt or without, and it's a spicy jalapeno salt. Oh, this is a spicy salt. It's a spicy jalapeno salt. It's a spicy jalapeno salt. There's one with with and one without. You want to try one? Do you want with or without salt? salt. Whichever you prefer. No, no, try both. I think it's better. There's this. It's better with salt. It's better with jalapeno salt. It is better with salt. It's so good. Oh, wow. I can make another one for you with the salt. Would you want me to try one? You know, no, is there anything in this besides just the tequila? It's a margarita mix, so it's the lime juice and the agave syrup. Yeah, it's delicious. I really think that the agave is the better with the really good tequilas. Oh, because oh, there's course. nothing worse than a margarita made with uh, off the shelf, yeah, nasty else? Dr. Martin. Yeah. Well, we don't want to trash anybody. We want to well, brag I people. Up. I'm I here to raise people. Raise, up. Raise I, when I gave it, I so gave it a fake name. By the way, I called it Dr. Martin. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, that was very tasty. That was. Go get some salt. Can you make one margarita with that on the rocks? Okay. One. And it also has agave nectar, so it's not just sugar. Yeah, you can taste it. Too. I like the agave over the. No, uh, it's so refreshing. Nice. You know what we're gonna spice, after drinking great. a couple of these, we could do some tongue twisters. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, that'd be great. I think it would work. Now, really now, good. brown cow. <laughs> uh, seashells, seashells by the seashore. Or I can't up. do the other one. No, no. you can. One, uh, and I can't do it here. You can, if you screw up, it's sock cucker father mother. Oh, now that's a tough one to say. Yeah, say Absolutely. it too fast, and it gets real bad. And then I got to check a box at the bottom of the broadcast yes, for that says explicit, that. and we haven't done that. Yeah, you don't mind. We don't. Well, I don't think you have to. You can do an innuendo it's all, all you want. Kid. Exactly. I can't, well, I, I mean, could, that's I different. Could, yeah, I could, no, but I'm not going to go there. See, okay. it's not about that because I have a family. I'm a family man. Yeah. So we I didn't say that. I stuff. couldn't do that you at know noon. What? That, 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 that's that's I couldn't do that at noon. <laughs> yeah, we, even before I started. <laughs> I couldn't like do that, that ever. <laughs> and noon is not always a time when I. Or like drink. brunette. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Okay. So we're back. to Wait, you still didn't talk about? Do you? What are we you talking about? Bumbies. Yeah. I'm giving you an opportunity. You came over here. Well, yeah, no, you were I down there. We're at the my, garage, my, so. my, my wife and I were down there about a month ago. It was fantastic. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, we. It's always a shucking good time at Bumbies. Oh, you can say that, right? With the raw bar? We did have all the special oysters, and actually, I I must admit to cheap taste because I actually like the cheap oyster, oysters the best. Oh, uh, no, you know what? They all have their nuances, just they, like they do. Exactly. They, they do, but their taste profile, I guess you call it. Well, and it depends on it where is. they're from, and I mean, the region, how they're but, cultivated. But, but the big old. The big old Watery Appalachian Cola oysters, the, the straight up no, oysters yeah. we get we, down we, here we all the have, time. We have them here, and uh, we have an oyster special here. Those were my favorite. They got it, now. If you, I mean, we have a great oyster special here for happy hour. You go down to Bumby's, they got oysters from they everywhere. Do, well, we do what the shuck, we do what the shuck Mondays and yeah. we do dollar oysters on Monday. So that's always that's fun. Yeah, and, 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 and I had oysters. They tasted like you could have the salt. 
you can taste the, it. Yeah, yeah. Salt is and, and from what I understand, they have different zones where they come from. If you see yeah. James River, they'll have a different Prince zone. Edward Island. And they all have really different nice zones cold, where they're in. Very briny. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fun. It's, and I, I love it. I mean, it's just like anybody who really gets into wine, it's the same thing, like you said, getting into oysters and yep. the pairing and the tasting of it. And it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, I get into some. No, I don't get in it. I don't have a particular. You, yeah, you're not really big on oysters. Oh no, anything really. Well, I got this a... ADD thing going, and it you're kind of he doesn't have the attention span. He looks good for a second. Yeah, I'm a shiny oh, object guy. Oh, I'm a shiny object. Oh, look there. He, d- you know, he doesn't but... have the attention span to truly get into anything. Yeah. No, you know, you know what? I'm not hurt by that at all. Squirrel. Oh, you know what? History. History, but history, history is everything. I mean, I mean, kind of history, like uh, ancient everything. Or everything. All oh, history. That's what I'm getting. History I'm, of the keys? Yeah. Everything. I, I mean, it's so no, interesting. No, he, he, he's a poli sci major. We can actually push I mean, his buttons and get him going. We were talking about uh, yeah. Wait, here, lobsters like, last week on the, on the, the radio city. show. Oh, like Kirby? Here we go. We, we had, got it for her. We She's the one that's right. Oh, wow. Look at this. That's amazing. Oh, my God. Um, Is Kelly driving? You. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> That's a big trip. We had Captain Billy, and we were talking about um, spiny tail, the Florida lobster, because lobster season and everything. And I'm, you know, I know that we're talking about beverages, and this is key. It's part of the No, it works. No, but, but that, this is really cool because in the Keys, you know, a lot of people come down. They travel down for many season. They come down. Um, now we finally open up on Monday for a regular commercial season. Um, oh, so, she's picking up. She has a really good voice for this. So we were um, we were talking, and you know, a lot of people are frustrated with you know saying, "Oh, they're going to pillage and take so many lobsters." But scientifically, we could take and remove every lobster this season out, and next season we will be completely full up again because our lobsters speak Spanish. They get in the loop, and they come in, and they come into the Everglades, and they get attracted to that rusty algae that we have out there, and then they stay, and they eat, and within a year and a half, they are fully full grown, and their tails are perfect to, to eat. Oh, okay, just so we get a lot of listeners from outside of the Keys, and just so I know, the Caribbean lobster, what they're talking about, is a spiny lobster, and they call it a bug. It doesn't have the big claws; it's almost all tail, and um, it has a different. For me, a sweeter is it a sweeter consistency? What you call it, or? You no, know, I. I mean, I think that Maine. Maine is more flavorful, but the Caribbean lobster, it's just nice, light, fresh, meaty. Um, and what's really fun when you're cooking it or preparing it is to add the spices into it because it holds it well. Okay. And uh, it's really good. Yeah, have some. I'm going to see how this works. This is your bartender. Oh, oh look at that. There. Oh, oh, my God. Hear the ice. Woo, we're getting Look clapped. at me. All right, so Jim is oh, taking yeah, a margarita and pouring bar, some. bartender way. This is awesome. Oh, I got it. Without in. spilling a drop, that's incredible. Okay. You were talking about the, the oyster. New York has a project. They're re, they reintroduced about a year and a half or two years to, uh, the oysters to the whole bay. Yeah. And um, the re-intro- they, they reintroduced it because they fished them out. It used to be... 40 years ago that everybody in New York ate oysters. Oh, absolutely. And uh, then they stopped. They just... They oh, just stopped I, I think... Uh, Long Island Sound. Yeah. Long Island Sound was famous now, there. Now, every, now people are producing oysters. I think that... Out. You know what? Yeah, they're they thinking they about doing that in uh, Cape Cod. Yeah. Because Cape Cod, the the they're right uh, like 50 miles off Cape... They call it Cape Cod because it was they were cod. cod. <laughs> and now... Yeah. No cod. And... Um, Okay, and this is some when I we talk on your show uh, with uh, Skip. Uh, the guys bitch when they talk about like the hogfish limits and yes, all that stuff. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I believe that there's limits for a reason, maybe, in order to have them. And I know some people, and other people disagree. Well, I mean, and they constantly change. And we had uh, FWC, Florida Wildlife Control, on there, too, with us. And we were talking about different things and the regulations. And you have to constantly update to preserve what we have going on. I mean, and you know what? And it's not a bad thing. But, you know, I really wish people would get more into lion fish because... White fish are that delicious. They, we do the oh, it's delicious. I mean, we yeah, have I the... Okay, okay. Just so um, yeah. I'm going to give it a little background once again. 
not every um, I can, <laughs> over I can 70 per, uh, percent of listeners are outside of the Keys. Okay. Yeah. Lionfish are a um, invasive you know, species. In, yeah, yeah, they're an invasive species. But they look like a scorpion fish, maybe. From a, they got these spines coming up, these sharp spines they're that come off. They're actually pretty nice. They're, they're beautiful. They come yeah. off the dorsal. Yeah. They get up to 14 inches uh, long. Yeah. Uh, you get a nice fillet out of them. But the thing in, in their spines, they have this neurotoxin. And that's what they use as their defense system. And they're from the Indo-Pacific region. And whether how they got there is disputed, whether it came in after a storm and an aquarium was uh, denuded with water. Wow, I think that would. I, mean, I just want to say really quick for everybody listening, he is not reading any of this. He's uh, like going no, into no, his brain, no. pulling out a file, <laughs> and just stating all these facts. Okay, no, but I think, it, I, think it was up to, I think it was about 12 years ago and stuff like that. And... That would have to be a a, a, a woman, a female Andrew. fish that has for eggs or a pairing, a pair that come in to do that. And what Andrew. happened? They were so prolific when what, the fish farms got wiped out. And Andrew, I thought it was something after that. No, that's when it really started. Andrew, because you didn't hear until hear yeah. about him well, until ten that's years ago. Only ten fish, were, only ten twenty fish got released. Okay, well, okay, it whatever. Well, what, well, at well. one point, uh, that they lay thousands and tens of thousands of eggs, and, and no they're natural predators the, in their region. But their natural predators are not separated by that far evolutionary separation. So the same animals that eat them in the Indo Pacific eat them here. They just have not been acclimated to them. It's not an evolutionary trait to be uh, able to take that poison. Yeah, I know. It sounds like I'm an expert on it. I got like a, an inch deep knowledge and a, a, a wide... Do you fish are starting to eat them? Yes. And oh, starting, really? Oh, and, yeah. yeah. No, and, 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 and luckily with the, with, to eat them. with the breeding cycles, the less breeding, uh, the shorter breeding cycle of fish and all those things, they, they can get acclimated to that. And once they do, once you build up that... Um, local predator or local consumer of that fish and that should be people and fish right yeah that lionfish is a resource and we should eat so people are afraid to hear lionfish you, you, you neurotoxins in the spine once they're cooked if you cook a whole lionfish without cooking in spine their poison is denatured and it's molecular it's a change on molecular level that you can eat it i've eaten the spines that's where the poison is once it's cooked or cooled down they're uh, that's what denature the heat is. actually knocks heat it out. and cold if you freeze it it does it and stuff so and the, and the flesh is as good as any fish as you can get oh it's tasty so, we have called around to different places to see who's serving it and it seems to be a, a, a spotty well, no, that's I mean, how they harvest well, I mean, it they and again, get we're talking about the keys and so we'll go ahead and we're promoting other businesses Chef Michael's always does something with always had some supply so, some, of lionfish some, yes it does something with lionfish yeah. well I mean if you're able to get a supplier that comes in and always supply you the problem is it's hard to offer it right a lot of it's and if you're going to buy you're going to drive 40, buy 40 pounds of it you got to sell that out. Fish, breast fish is only available for a certain amount. Yeah, a lot of it's hit and miss because there's really right. no yeah, ready suppliers. Uh, most of the stuff we've got are there's there's a dozen guys go out down here that target lionfish. Well, I mean, and the derby is so fun because people get in the water. That's they the get lionfish this, derby. Yeah. We do it once a year. It's a huge event down now, here. This is a we get a fish thing. Yeah, right? we fair. get a bunch of people. Oh, that's how they get in the water, spearfish, lionfish, we collect them off all the reefs, we go into, we actually go into certain areas that we're not normally allowed to spearfish, but and we take, the lionfish, right? on, the, on the derby, we can take the, we can take the fish with a spear, only lionfish, don't shoot the mutton, no matter how much you think. No. Uh, can I give you my uh, futuristic uh, yes, go uh, ahead. solution for this? Yes, go ahead. I got mine, it's not too, it's a scientific thing, it's far-fetched, but... This is my idea. We genetically alter the sharks. Okay. To make them voracious eater to lionfish. Once the sharks become the penultimate uh, predator, we'll, we'll have to genetically alter the crocodiles to eat the sharks. Okay. Yeah, there once was a man who had a cat. No, no, we can do it. We always do it. You can always. So have, now this it's is endless. a croc. Eat shark, eat, eat lionfish world. That you're no, and then, about. and then, and then, and then we got the Bur- and then there's a Burmese python 
And you know what? Eat the cry. You know what? It worked with Godzilla yeah. because you know they what? invented Mothra and Mecha Godzilla. If Shark and it worked, it's always in the world, you've seen it in the movies. <laughs> you've seen it in the movies all the time. Speaking of movies, if Sharknado can be a movie and be made into like several different. <laughs> then, then sure, this can happen. Anything I think can it happen. could happen. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. Well, listen, I think we've gone on a long time. I'm going to let everyone give yeah. their plugs. Uh, Patrick, where are you going to be? Wait, you too. You need to get oh, some okay. plugs here. Uh, Patrick, where's Sweetwater going to be? Uh, and the next it's going to be tomorrow night at the tomorrow night. Club. Tomorrow Hosting night, the jam. which is uh, Thursday, Thursday, August 3rd. What time? It's a late night deal, 9.30. 9.30, the yep. Caribbean Club in Caribbean, Key Largo. In Key Largo. Okay. Snooks, Sunday. Every Sunday. Snooks, Sunday. Every, every Sunday. Sunday. 1, 1 to 4.30. 1 to 4.30. 1 to 4 30. That's p.m., not a.m. Right. And it's an afternoon thing. It's an afternoon yeah. thing. Yeah. And then uh, you guys are still doing Tuesday nights. We're doing Tuesday nights at uh, the Sandbar at Wahoo. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. And at one point, I'd like to be at Bumby's in Isla Mirada. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Well, you don't get me. That's the yeah, matter. We can do that. We can do that. I'm a bartender. Right. What are you thinking of the owner? The pressure's on. The pressure's you on. You make it a tactical <laughs> error. We, we, we've got a website. I have water this water. much influence so, anywhere. Okay. But I have a lot of influence. That's all my influence all the way around. You'll see Bill here. He plays. Okay, now Billy. Awful lot. Uh, Billy, of course, I'll be there? with Patrick on Sunday at Snooks uh, with Sweetwater. Uh, tomorrow night, I will be here at the Kitsch with uh, the Key Billies, Cody James and the Key Billies. Oh, that's yeah. always a, that's yeah, always that's a good. good show. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Friday night, I will be here at the Kitsch with uh, Captain Josh. We do a bunch of old Key West music. I'll be here Friday night with you. Uh, we, we do a bunch of old I'll Key West music. Uh, it'll be a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Um, Saturday, I'm at a private party, and... You can tell us where that is. We promise not to show up. Don't tell us. Don't tell us. Don't say it, Billy, 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 Billy. Don't say it. I actually have no idea. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I really don't know. I'm going to get in the truck. Dead man, tell I'm, no I'm tales. Go, I'm going to get in the truck with Albert. He's going to drive me. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. A lot of times, um, I don't know where no, we're going. No, I have play. no idea where we're uh, going. I'm going to tell you <laughs> all in the morning, and then it's a, it's a different engagement, because down here, musicians... They transfer gigs all the time. Yeah. They're, uh, you'll be in one place or another place. It's uh, not you know like what? other places in the country. Well, in Ala Mirada, the jam nights are so fun, oh, that's, too. Uh, yeah, that's night, yeah. Yeah. The OB, I was there, there last night. Time. It was great. And also, the DAB has their little jam night, too. So there, there's a lot of fun are music down okay. here. Yeah, and absolutely. Let's hear uh, your plug. Oh, yeah. And so then tomorrow night, uh, we have Thirsty Thursdays at Bumby's up in the upstairs lounge. And we have Jim Bo here as our bartender extraordinaire. And uh, we... Uh, focus on our happy hour. We talk about fun things. It's a good time. So uh, come by, hang out, and that starts at uh, six until seven. And then um, again, what the shuck oysters? I mean, on Monday nights, dollar oysters. Oh, so and uh, remember, oh, oh, folks, uh, there's one thing you didn't forget to say. Happy hour runs all week there. Oh yeah. Oh, the and, and we altered our happy hour, which you've been on vacation, yeah, yeah. so you don't know. So. Oh no, I do know. Uh, you told me yeah, before. Yeah. So we we do from six five from five until eight. We keep our happy hour, and then we do from six, from five until six, and from nine till ten. We do half off of all of our signature cocktails. So you're talking about a seven dollar kettle one martini with blue cheese stuffed olives. Yeah, you got to come by Bumby's. It's a great yeah. happy hour. It make Bumby's your happy place. That's what we say. <laughs> make Bumby's your happy place. And uh, you know what? I'm going to thank the uh, distributors of Tanteo uh, thank Tequila. You. Hey, ladies, do you want to say anything about your product? Do you want to say anything? What are your names? I'm Chris. Chris and Ellie. Ellen? Chris? Ellie. 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 Chris and Ellie, thank you thank for the show. Thank you so that. much. We'd like to say uh, thank you to Tanteo uh, Tequila. Uh, do you anything to say? Chris? We have some great giveaways, and we'll be here until 7 o'clock. Oh, okay. Anyone's in the area, come on down and oh, okay. see us. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank well, you. We didn't know what would happen. I, I think that prison bus is stopping. Here we go. All right. It's pretty good. They are a good time. Those guys are nice. They've been working. Super nice. They are nice. They're non-violent. They're mostly, they're mostly white-collar criminals. They're mostly like check kiters and uh, internet fraud. You can, st you can start with bad decisions right now. Yeah. I know a lot of people like that. Okay, folks. This is Jim. I'll be here uh, until like the next half hour until my uh, wife makes me leave. But thank you very much thank for showing up. Thank you all so up. much. Oh, thank you. We do you. appreciate you. We do appreciate it. We'll be here next week. And uh, 
until next week, stay, uh, take care and let's get uh, let's be careful uh, when we are imbibing and driving. Well, thank you so Always much to uh, Patrick Knotts again for uh, showing up and okay coming up well then i'll go again and say be and careful yes. not drinking and driving of course not. and always look for a co-pilot you know like napoleon uh dynamite found out a long time ago remember that yeah. the buddy system when what he went to see buddy? that went to the martial art you got to have a you always got to you always have a have the buddy with you you want to take a roundhouse kick from these uh parodies while i'm wearing an american flag yeah. <laughs> you ever saw napoleon dynamite yeah, yeah. okay I'm talking. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I kind of creeped them out, but thank you very much, every. Thank you, Tanteo uh, Tequila. I do want to say vodka all the time, but um, tequila. What's what's the difference?